the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Dancing forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello. Gamer Nom is back. So for today's video, we are going to help this noob, the new Shadow Fruit, reach second C. But before that, you can show your support by using Starcode Gamer Nom when buying your Robux. Okay, so we're gonna start with the Bandit Quest. You need to lure five. No, guys, just joking. Your first skill as a Shadow user, the Somber Rebellion, is a single target skill. Meaning, if you lure, other enemies will just attack you. you guys, I suggest. You finish your enemies one by one. There you go. You need to defeat five, right? To finish one quest. The goal here is to reach level 10. Again, guys, not like the dragon, the venom fruit. This is a single target skill. So compared to those fruits, leveling up with this fruit is kind of hard. But don't worry, guys. I got you. Gamer Nom has the tips. So guys, next island is the jungle. There you go. We're going to start here with the monkeys. Again, the level requirement is level 10. You need to defeat six monkeys. So are you gonna lure? No. Single target enemies. So you're gonna defeat six. Guys, imagine the grind here. Imagine the grind. It really is hard, but we were able to do it in, in less than one day, right? Less than one day. After finishing one quest, you're level 14, right? So it depends to you. You just need to like defeat three or four monkeys or finish one whole quest. But at level 15, you can start with the gorillas. You need to defeat 8 gorillas. Again, don't lure them. They're located here in this island. Okay, so again, defeat one at a time. Is it hard? No. You need patience. You need to be patient. You need to defeat 8. Guys, 8 to finish one quest. And after that, you will reach level 20. After level 20, you will unlock the Gorilla King quest. So is it hard to defeat? No. Guys, if you notice, Every time I use the Somber Rebellion, the damage keeps getting higher. I don't know if it, this is based on the HP getting lower. So guys, comment it on the comment section. Help me with that. I'm not sure of that. So the goal here is to reach level 30. Go back to the gorillas. And every time the Gorilla King spawns, smash that gorilla. Okay. okay. So when we reach level 30, we can now proceed to our next island, the Pirate Village. So here, we're going to start... With the clown pirates, you need to defeat 8 again. This game really loves the number 8. So here you go, one at a time. So, there you go. Okay, so you need to like attack him 5 times just to defeat 1. Imagine the grind guys, imagine the grind. It's not that easy, but it is doable. So the goal here is to reach level 40, right? No, the goal here is to reach level 55 to start defeating Bobby or Buggy. We are gonna skip the brute quest because they are so far apart, our energy is still low, and our damage is not that high. Okay? So the goal here is to reach level 60, stat check, 24 melee, 24 uh, defense. All stats will go to the blocks fruits. Okay? So next island, desert. So we're gonna start with 8 desert bandits. Let me show you guys. Just to defeat one, you need to like use your C skill 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five times. <laughs> That's a lot, but it's doable again. So you're gonna level up here until you reach level 75. But before that, we're gonna unlock our second skill, the Umbrage. Guys, this skill is so cool. Remember the Serpent's Wrath from the Venom Fruit? This skill is similar to that, but the damage is kinda lower. But still, guys, it's better. You can use to lure it, you can use to defeat the enemies with it. There you go. The goal here is to reach level 75 and after that, you can now move to the Desert Officers. Again, everything is easier. You can lure using your punch and you can defeat them using your Umbrage. Umbridge, sorry. Umbridge. Okay. Okay, so again, goal here is to reach level 90. And after that, we can now proceed to the Snow Village. Okay. But as you can see, I enjoyed using this skill, so I reached level 100 here. But why not, right? Sorry guys, it's not Snow Village, it's Frozen Village. Claim King Legacy for that. So first, go to this cave, buy all the skills, the Geppo, the Buso, the Enhancement, and the Flash Step. Okay, Soru, yeah. There you go. So we're gonna start here with the Snow Bandits. You need to defeat 7, lure 7 with your punch, and damage them using your Umbridge. You need to use your Umbridge twice to wipe them all. You need to wait for two more to spawn to finish one quest. 
And when you reach level 105, you can start with the Yeti boss. There you go, mini boss in this island. There you go. Is he easy to defeat? Yes. We're gonna use Z skill, I think, like five times, six times. I don't know. And also, my favorite skill, the Umbridge. Okay. Go here is to reach level 130. Why? Because that is the requirement to start defeating the Vice Admiral in our next island. Here you go, level 130. Next island is the Marine Ford, or oh, it is called Marine Fortress. Here, right? So there you go. Stat check, 55 melee defense. Put all your stats on the blocks foot. So here you are. 130, we can start defeating the Vice Admiral. Is it to defeat? Yes. At first, leveling up with this fruit is kinda hard, but when you unlock the second skill, everything will be a lot easier. Okay? So, check that HP. Just two Umbrage. There you go, Umbrage. Okay, so after this, you need to defeat Petty Officers. This part is kinda hard. You can do Server Hop, okay? Server Hop, keep on defeating the Vice Admiral until you reach 150. That's my suggestion to you. I just showed you how to level up here. Again, the goal level here is level 150, but before that, you will be unlocking your third skill, the Shade Nest. So, this is an AoE skill. There you go. And also a mid to long range skill. And that's it. <laughs> I haven't used this much because of the Umbridge. I really love the Umbridge skill. Comment me if you have some tips on how to use Shade Nest properly, okay? Again, I'm still a noob here. We're just speedrunning this video, okay? So again, if you have a chance, just defeat the Vice Admiral. Oh, we got the coat. Lucky us. So at 151, 150, we can now go to our next island. There you go. The Skylands. There you go. We're going to start here with the Sky Bandits. So it's located in the castle. This castle. You need to, you need to lure four. Do it twice to finish one quest. The goal here is to reach level 175. Again, things are faster when you've unlocked the Umbridge. Okay, again, level 175. Okay. So next up, we're gonna start defeating the Dark Masters. And they are located here. One level higher from the Sky Bandits. Lure 4, same with the Sky Bandits. Okay. Go use your umbridge to defeat them twice, mostly twice. Okay, twice. Okay. The goal here again is to reach level 225. And after that, you can proceed to the Coliseum. If you want, you can now go to the prison and defeat the warden and chief warden, but I don't suggest that. It's too far. We're gonna start here in the Coliseum with the Toga Warriors. So defeat four or three, it depends to you, as long as you finish the quest. The goal here is to reach level 275. There you go. And at 275, you can start defeating the gladiators. You need to defeat 8. So you're gonna use your combat to lure them. There you go. 1, 2, 3, and 4. And use your umbrage to defeat them. You can use your shadeness sometimes, but no need, to be honest. So the goal here is to reach level 300, but at level 250, you can start defeating the Swan. So, yeah. So if you're gonna go here and defeat all bosses, Swan, Warden, and Chief Warden, it's fine, right? It's worth it. But if you're going here just to defeat the Warden or Chief Warden, I don't suggest it, guys. So there you go. Goal here again is to reach level 300. Stats, 148. Melee defense, all in the blocks for so when you reach level 300, you can now proceed to the next island, the Magma Village. So we're gonna start here with the military soldiers. You need to defeat 9. So there are 5 scattered around in this area, so you need to defeat 5. After that, wait for 4 to spawn. Yeah, you can defeat 5 again if you want to finish one quest. The goal here is to reach level 330. Yes, 330. But before you reach that, we're gonna unlock the fourth skill, the Nightmare Leech. So I call this the Lifesaver skill. Why? Because Leech, again, this has a life steal. Check this out. 284 HP. We're gonna test the Nightmare Leech. There you go. Okay, let's check the HP. Closer camera, please. There you go. See that, guys? 
Okay, so you're gonna use this when your HP is kinda low. Okay, so back to grinding again. Goal here is to reach level 330. After that, we can start with the military spies. You need to defeat 8. You're gonna lower 4 at a time. Go. You can defeat them with just one umbrage. Okay? There you go. Goal here is to reach level 375. But before that, every time, you have a chance to defeat the Magma Admiral at 350, starting 350. Go for it. Gives high experience. Same as the other mini bosses. Okay, so there you go. Target level here is 375. So go back to the military spies or keep on defeating the Magma Admiral. Guys, again, you can go do server hop to make things faster. Okay, so next, island. Actually, this is not an island. The underwater city. Aside from the Skylands, after this, level up here in this area is kind of fast. There you go, underwater city. We're gonna start here. Actually, we're gonna start and we're gonna end here with the Fishman Warriors. Okay? You need to defeat 8. Lure 4. Wait for them to spawn. You need to defeat 8 to finish one quest. Okay? Okay, and at 425. Let's wait for that. Guys, I tried defeating the Fishman Commandos, but again, they're so far apart. Here you go. You need to defeat 9. They're so far apart, and they can damage you. I even died trying it. Trying to make things easier for us, but no. I don't suggest this. So, go back to the previous mob. But guys, to make things faster, we can start defeating Fishman Lord at 425. Okay, so is it hard to defeat? No, I'm gonna show it to you guys. Here you go, Fishman Lord. So right now, I'm fighting the transformed form. There you go. Just one umbrage. Almost half HP. So things will be a lot faster here. Use your other skills. Just waiting for the umbrage to cool down and use it again to finish this boss. The goal here is to reach level 450. Oh, we got the trident. Cool. Now we got the coat and the trident. Not bad. Lucky us. So again, at 450, we can now proceed to the Skylands upper part of the skylands and here guys this is one of my favorite areas if you watch my venom fruit my buddha fruit guide this is my favorite area the gods guards you need to defeat seven so there are six here and these mobs like to jump so they don't get stuck on rocks etc so no problem luring so there you go just defeat six wait for one to spawn defeat one you're gonna level up here until you reach level 500, but I think I always exceed that level. See that? I'm 515. So when you reach this level, there you go. Stat check 262 on melee and defense, all on blocks fruits. So now we can start with the Whisper at 500. Again, if you want, you can go here at 500 to start with the Whisper. So defeat him easily. Yes, this is an easy fight. No problem with that. Just make sure to like dodge the cannon. Or if you ever get hit like this one, you can always use your Nightmare Leech. Okay, there you go. To regenerate your HP. Okay, so let's say you defeated this. What's next? Yes, we're gonna start with the Shandas. So it's kinda late there. Like the requirement is 475, but it's still fine. Okay, so here goes Shandas after Whisper. So what's next, Gamer Gnome? After that, wait, I'm still gonna show it to you. Why is it good with the Shandas? You need to defeat 9, right? You can lure 6 at a time. 6. So you need 3 more to finish one quest. And you will still level up every time you finish a quest. So there's no problem here. Okay. So at 525, you can start with the Royal Squad. Okay, Royal Squad. Again, they're easy to defeat. I see if you want, you can stay here actually. Until you reach level 625. Yeah, I stayed here usually uh, with my Venom Fruit and Buddha Fruit. I stayed here. When you reach level 575, you can start defeating NL, the Thunder God. Yes. Again, 575. There you go. What I did here is after I defeated him, I went on the next mob, the Royal Guards. Yeah, Royal Squad after that. NL at 575. Royal Guards. Just to change my enemies. Because I'm kind of getting tired <laughs> when I reach this point. There you go. So again, after defeating this, I went to the Royal Guards. So you need to defeat 8 again. 
and the goal here is to reach level 625 and after that again if you have a chance to defeat Thunder God or you can just do server hop until you see a spawned Thunder God to make things faster okay just avoid bounty hunters so when you reach 625 we are going to our final island the fountain city water 7 if you're watching anime or reading the manga of one piece there you go fountain city we're gonna start with the galley pirates very easy guys just lure four because you need eight right well, there are like six here don't mind the two uh mobs they're so far apart from this four okay so defeat four do it twice to finish one quest and that's 675 you can start defeating cyborg okay we're gonna skip the galley captains why they're so far apart I and mean, so far again you need lots of energy to travel and your skills will cool down you know it will make things longer so at this point we're we've already unlocked our last skill the corvus torment so the damage here is based on the umbra meter if you can see there's an umbra meter so at night it, it regenerates or every time you use your skill okay so every time it's full go on use your corvus torment go. okay so again our goal here is to reach 700 and when you reach 700 this will appear congratulations for reaching level 700 you're ready to go to the next world talk to the detective in the prison so let's make this fast go to the prison it will give you the key after that go to the snow village no this is not snow village frozen village go to the cave use your key to open the door here you will find the ice admiral smash him go, there you go after that you can go back to the detective okay exactly okay <laughs> okay he will then ask you to go to the middle town to talk to his friend so, is it the elite part or the experience something let's check it out oh the experience captain so talk to him and that's it guys we've reached second scene with the new shadow fruit at first it's kind of hard to level up but guys it's worth it as long as it is for all of you supporters next stop revive fruit again to all the viewers subscribers supporters i appreciate you all this is gamer nom see you on my next video Bye-bye.